True to its name, the alligator gar has quite a chomp. Big teeth that allow it to chow down on other fish, including a certain kind that poses a threat to U.S. waterways. The Asian carp, they're just overpopulating and jumping a lot. Several carp species were imported from Asia in the 1970s to cleanse algae from fish farms and sewage treatment ponds in the south. The invasive fish have now migrated up the Mississippi River and its tributaries toward the Great Lakes, where agencies have spent hundreds of millions of dollars to keep them out. Enter the alligator gar, a fearsome looking fish that was exterminated from all but the southern part of its range in tributaries of the Mississippi River and Gulf of Mexico by anglers who mistakenly believed it threatened sport fish. Female also. Biologists are restocking alligator gar in several states, hoping the fish that can grow longer than a horse and heavier than a refrigerator might become a weapon against the dreaded carp. They feed on whatever is most abundant in, their, in the system that they're living, and in the southeast region that is mostly Asian carp. People get this idea that we're going to have one silver bullet that's going to be the magic fix for whatever invasive species we're worried about. Dan O'Keefe at Michigan State University says slowing the spread of the carp won't happen overnight. It could be a while. I don't think it's a short-term fix by any means. Workers at this federal fish hatchery in Mississippi catch wild gar, spawn them in the hatchery, and... We will actually FedEx fry um, to multiple different states as far north as Illinois. Where Olaf Nelson made history three years ago. The fish that I caught was, as far as we know, the first alligator gar caught in Illinois since 1966. Nelson released that gar to allow it to keep growing, something experts hope the aquatic behemoth will continue to do from the deep south to the Midwest and make a meal out of the Asian carp. Mike Householder, Associated Press.